Bride and welcome to my Hidden Love Inspired Design Set workshop. In this workshop I'm going to show you a completely different way of how to apply gel polish with a little bit of Hidden Love nail art. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop, so let's get started. Welcome to my Tide I Love Inspired Design Set workshop. So I am um, not a massive fan of stamping, but you are going to need a jelly stamper for this, okay? So I'm not going to show you the finished result of this just yet. Um, I will in a little bit. So you need a jelly stamper and you also need some colours that you think are going to mix nicely together. So for this tie-dye effect, I am going to use Pop, OMG and Zap from the uh, Pop Art Collection. So I've used a rounded sort of oval shape tip for this. And as you can see, I haven't done anything on it whatsoever. So the reason for that is, is because we are going to paint our jelly stamper. So you want a jelly stamper that is complete, that it hasn't got any nooks, crannies or divots or anything like that in it. And I'm going to paint one third with my pink gel polish. Yes, the whole third. I'm then going to go in with OMG from the Pop Art Collection and paint my middle section all the way to the edge. Now, what might happen is that your gel paint is going to start to split. That's because it's on a silicone surface. That's absolutely fine. If it does that, do not panic. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with Zap from the Pop Art Collection on that bottom section trying your hardest not to uh, get any color on your brush i'm now going to go in with my ombre brush and i am going to ombre these out but not with you know i'm not going to be super duper pretentious about it it really doesn't matter if the ombre isn't fantastic again you'll see why in a second so i'm just going to carry that yellow up a little bit more and what you're also doing is removing excess product that you don't want okay so once you've done that you're gonna go in on the nail. Now, to protect your client's nail, you can use um, latex, or you can just be really careful. You can use a smaller stamper than this. So, I'm gonna go straight in. Obviously, if you're doing this on a client, you will have done your prep, your base coat, and then you literally go in and you stamp. Look, how cool is that? So I've worked out that from this size stamper and this amount of product, you can do four to five nails, okay? So I'm then just gonna go in, pop it on, and voila, you can go in and fill in all of those areas. If you want a little bit more yellow in an area, you can go in and do that. And you have created the most simple tie-dye effect you could ever wish to create how easy was that and look at all that product left on there you can get another four nails out of that easy so i'm going to pop that into the lamp for full cure because this is a normal gel polish that is a 30 second cure now i'm just going to show you really quickly on spare tips okay that what happens is when you're doing this Look, still loads. So there's one tip done. See how many we can get out of this, shall we? Just to prove a point. It starts to get a little bit more see-through, okay? But the joys of a transparent jelly stamper is that you can go in and concentrate on the areas that you need. So, yeah, from this 
size jelly stamper and the amount of product that I used. You can go in and quite easily create a whole five nails. So that's one whole hand on your client. So easy. Look how quick I did that. So I'm going to pop these to one side because I'm not actually going to use those. And then to clean off your jelly stamper, all you have to do is get a clean lint-free pad and then just roll it around on there and that will remove. Don't use any solution on it because you will dull it. So just on the jelly part, just go in and remove it nice and clean. So there you have it. Stamping gel polish for a tie-dye effect. So I'm just going to clean off my desk because I have made a bit of a mess by doing that. And now I'm going to go in with my black gel paint. Now the reason I'm using black gel paint is because I want this... Um, I want to be able to get this done in one go, okay? So also I'm going to be using my 10 mil liner brush, which I absolutely love. If you've seen my workshops before, then you will know this is one of my faves. So the first thing you have to do, I'm just gonna load up my brush because we're gonna create a frame around the entirety of this nail. So if you're doing this on a client, you need to steer clear of their skin. You do not want to be overexposing your client to any uncured product whatsoever, okay? So I'm going to come all the way around and I've found that this shape nail works best for this design. I've done it on square, I've done it on stiletto, I've done it on um, coffin and ballerina and it just, it just doesn't sit right. You can do it, but it just doesn't sit right. So I'm just going to come down this side wall. And then I'm going to come along the top of my cuticle area. So once you have done that and it's nice and crisp, all the way to that edge, you don't want this to have any gaps in it. Like so. Okay? So once you have done that, you're then going to go in and add a bit of detail. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to come in and I want that bulbous and then coming out like so. All will be revealed, okay? And then I'm going to come in here and do the opposite. And then I'm going to bring that round and make that slightly rounded. I'm going to bring that round and make that slightly rounded. And then I'm going to bring that round and that round. Okay, once you're happy with that, that's going to go into the lamp for a full cure because this is gel paint and not gel polish. That is a full 60 second cure, okay? Now to reveal what the actual design is. So you've probably seen it on the thumbnail anyway. But we have just done the E of love. So as you can see, I have done the same, exactly the same technique with my stamper to create this beautiful tie-dye effect. And then just using that outline and a few simple lines, I've created the word love. So we've gone in from this top um, right-hand side to create our L, just a simple line in the center for the O, and that's why this nail shape works okay because the black isn't too overpowering but you can see what it says and then we have got our v um which i've just brought this in ever so slightly 
to make that slightly more accentuated there on the free edge. And then to add to it, we have got the E. So obviously our E is still shiny. I'm gonna go in with our matte top coat. Now, what you can do on, because I know what a lot of people are gonna to say to me is, Lauren, people have got five fingers, not four. I know. But what you can do is an exclamation mark, or you can do a heart, or it depends on what the word is, you know? So you could say, I love you across both fingers, uh, both hands, sorry, with an exclamation mark, or you could use another four letter word, you know, I've got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of profanities coming up with this design. Um, and of course you can use any colorway. So that is what this design looks like shiny, okay? But I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for full cure, which is 60 seconds to make it matte. Now, when you are doing your tie dye, you need to make sure you're using colors that aren't gonna go into that mushy brown. So if you don't know your color theory, then head on over to my color theory workshop, which is available on Facebook. It is a paid for workshop, but I do explain everything with regard to your color theory what colors you can use and what you don't but you need to keep it along the same lines so like our pink our um, orange and our yellow blend really well you're not going to get that muddy brown color if I was to add a green into there and my orange and green mixed I'd get a horrible brown color whereas you could do greens and blues you could do purples and pinks you could do white silvers you could do cool oh, you could do red and gold for Christmas the options are completely open to you and there you have oh there you have our e super quick super easy absolutely love it at first glance it just looks like you've got some sort of abstract nail art on but then at a closer glance you are saying a four letter word whatever that four letter word may be i can think of a few so there you have it all of our products that we have used in this workshop are available over on our website which is www.getnowedbylaurenmcbride.com and feel free to use the discount code lauren10 at checkout for a 10 percent cheeky little discount so make sure you head on over and also make sure if you're doing this design and you're on Facebook or Insta, please tag me, um, Lauren McBride, or tag Get Nailed by Lauren McBride because I love to see what everyone creates. And that completes this workshop. I really hope you guys enjoyed this workshop and if you did, please make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to see any future workshops, just click them down below. Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.